so we're gonna work away from the south up. Perfect. My video almost dead perfect. I can hear you great. Good. I, I mean I can hear you good too. And me in the game. But uh, it's just a little bit quiet. So maybe it's just because I have my volume down. Like my overall volume's turned down when I play it back. So. Anyways. Nice view of the town. I miss this field. 19. <laughs> yeah, good, good times in this field. I still have that picture saved on my phone. I was gonna post it to Instagram. That was like such a great picture though. Honestly, now that we're running so much header, header crop, I think it's a good time to trade in on like some, uh, get some two uh, 16 row black headers. That'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. I mean, if we were gonna stick with the, uh, we're gonna Cause every, with my, Milo and soybeans, they don't really yield that. No. So, but I was just, I was just saying, I mean, if we're going to stick to New Holland, I'd rather get rid of that dual for an ATI. Can you squeeze in? Yeah, we'll get rid of the dual and get an ATI, but I mean, really, to do it, to be fair, it really does need to get the hours on it. Oh, I understand that. But yeah, I'm all for trading in for a... That ATIs. way, because for some reason those attachable duels don't really work that well in the server. No. The only time they show up for everybody is if you do... Oh, crap. <laughs> so we're both planting corn. I haven't set a line yet. Okay. We'll do a headline, then we'll figure it out. Turn it right. I have my speed set at uh, like 10 or something. And I just started another video. Do you really want me to send you these so you can, or are we going to wait till harvest to do those? Good, I am. I'm recording as well, so. Um, okay. I don't know. I think maybe um, we'll try to do it during harvest, I guess. Okay. Are you going to put a link to my page on your page? Like how you have a link to your YouTube, are you going to put it up there in the corner too? Like what? Like how you have a link to your actual link to your YouTube. What do you mean? Am I, am are you going to put a link for my YouTube? page? Yeah. I did. I don't know. I meant in the corner so it doesn't get hidden under all your other pictures. Because on your side where it says your information, it's got your YouTube link. Oh, it does? I think it does. I don't know. My, the way my page, I don't see any of that stuff with like how I view it. Oh. So I don't I don't know what's all displayed and what's not, but yeah, I can put a link if you want. What do I gotta do to make it so you get one? Do you have to hit the monetize option or no? If you want ads, yeah. No, I don't really want ads. I just wanna see if I can ever get to a point to make money on YouTube. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what you do. You have, uh, you monetize. Yeah, but you don't have ads. Um, the ads that are on mine, they're just in the beginning, for like the first second before the video even starts, I think. Um, I think some of my longer ones I put like stuff in the middle, but I mean, I try not to do that because there's really no point. Oh yeah, these things are pulling like a dream in this field. 
pilot in this field. So many great memories in this field. When was the first one we had, the first big field we ever started off with? I don't know. Yeah, this, um, trying to figure out what we should price this per acre. <laughs> it's like 11.5. Can you imagine, yeah. imagine owning land like this, this close to town on water? The dude would be selling it to make millions. He would lot this shit off so fast. And here we are farming it just to piss off all the neighbors. We're gonna put three dollar fifty cent bushel of corn on dollar a bushel of corn. <laughs> We're gonna lose <laughs> our ass. <laughs> wait till we get that big triple X truck pulling dump and we come flying through town. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be awesome. Or if we ever get into cattle or pigs again and we gotta go sell pigs, just imagine the triple X. I have never cool. sold a pig yet. I have. On this map. <laughs> oh, not on this map. I edited it Modern American 13, the first B1 they had. I yeah. edited it to have like 10 pig farms. I just. It doesn't appeal to me at all. Pigs. Me and, the, me and my buddy Nick that you talked to that one night, we were hauling pigs for like a week straight. What's he up to? Um, not much right now. He can't drive for a week, so, or six weeks, so. He's still waiting to get that cable put out of his knee, so he's not doing much right now. Why would he got my feet? I was curious. show up more than Mr. No Show. <laughs> that was the perfect nickname for him. The group show. So accurate. <laughs> or Mateus, bad internet. <laughs> the Brazilians. They all have bad internet. Even Julian says he has bad internet. Probably all does, but that's because his sister plays Diablo. Yeah, all three of them. Raphael's got three sisters. Yeah. Hmm. I keep hinting at Julian. I'm like, hey, you know what would be really great? A Mac Don Flex Draper. <laughs> what do you say? He just doesn't. He just doesn't say anything anymore. I think, cause I think he's like busy actually like still harvesting. I think so. I think he just go, cough cough, I know you have to blunder. <laughs> oh Julian. I know you need a bigger draper for a Glen Bear. <laughs> Show stopping. That would be showroom floor worthy. There's our first miss spot. Yeah, this, this is a little weird over here. I was missing some spots on that cultivator. Um, but yeah, after I redid that, that new blue on that Kinsey and that pipe, it looks like a completely different model. It's great. Uh, that light blue just pops. And figured out the cylinder issue. Oh my god, I can't believe it's it's always the simplest shit. I think always. The, I think my favorite thing got to be the actual logos for like the 1500 or the Kinsey. Yeah, they're so much nope. better than the last one. <laughs> the windows on the Kinsey are pretty nice to like see through. 
Yeah. I'd make it push. I'd put a button in there to charge it. That's one thing I don't think I've ever seen is a script that allows you to like control a trailer with interactive control, you know, like, I mean, it has it so you can engage the PTO. Yeah. Like you could turn on and off. What happens if you ever use like the script for course play, not course play, but like GPS, you know, they got that interactive thing there. The what? Like your GPS, you know, when you hit your button to bring up all your GPS stuff. Oh, I'm sure there's a way to do it, but it's so far beyond my ability that... Well, I'm, but, I'm just but I mean, like, the people that write those scripts for, like, that crazy-ass bail spike and people that are writing, you know, the IC scripts and stuff like that, they would be able to figure it out, I'm sure. But I mean, if you took, if you actually, like, got the picture of the Kinsey remote that comes with those new cards... Yeah, that would be awesome. It, or, like... Little remote in the corner. Here's the pipe, here's this, here's your on <laughs> button. Yeah. Jeez. I think we're going to be under one full paint for this one. Uh, corn, I don't think corn uses as much seed as beans do. Beans. Are you going to... What was I going to say? Are you going to run it east-west or north-south? It's going to go east-west. Just because... That's how I always do it. And Works for me, boss. God, people are going to be so happy. There's three videos on your page. Yeah, I upload two videos, and the, like one guy immediately says, Any more? <laughs> it's, it's like, no. It's like, I try to do a video a week. <laughs> like, I'm pretty busy. Yeah. It's pretty hard to get on and record an hour or two hours of videos in a week, you know? Oh yeah, besides on like a Saturday morning or something. That's why I haven't really posted much, just because I really didn't do much when I got home from work, because of just long, slow days of running circles with the ethanol. Yeah. So are you guys done hauling grain, or are you still hauling grain? Oh, we're still hauling. We just opened. We just opened our 1.3 million bushel ground bunker. So, do you guys load into trains, or do trains bring grain to you? We load into trains and then ship them. How many? Uh, how many bushels would you say they ship four out? Four oh, ship out. On like a train. Eight. Oh, in one train, a bean train's like, uh, 100 car train's like 440,000 bushels. That's insane. Like, how do you fill that up? Do you just, like, keep the train on the whole time and slowly move it one car at a time? Yep. Or do you have the ability to fill multiple cars at once? One car at a time. How long does it take to fill a car? Mm, not very long. It takes about... I think it takes 15 hours to do 100 and some cars. Alright. You guys run two or three shifts? One. One shift? Yep. Is it all one, the same crop, or do you ship kind of like corn and beans? Uh, it's one crop per train, usually. Because the beans go usually to Seattle in that area. Yep. And then all of our corn gets shipped down to like Texas to all the big cattle herds. They're shipping it for food? Yep. What are they shipping the beans for? Send overseas. You guys do uh, wheat? Oh yeah. Do you have any beet? Uh, facilities by you? No. 
nobody, I don't think anybody in South Dakota goes to Sugar Beach. That's more east. Able country. Yeah. Then you get West River, you get into the Sunflower. Company. Yeah, because you're over kind of by Coors Country, aren't you? Contracted wheat farmers. Oh, not really. Not many guys move wheat around us. Most guys that do wheat do it so that they can cut an early crop to spread all their manure out of their How How is that uh, vertical fracture oil drilling now? Whatever it's called. Horizontal. The pipeline, the pipeline you mean? Where? It was out. Was it North or South Dakota where they had that big oil boom? North Dakota. Because they're uh, scrubbing, they're basically using surfactant soaps to get the oil out, aren't they? I think so. They were going to build a pipeline to South Dakota, I just haven't heard much on it lately. So I have to figure out a good old line for 19. I'd say overlap some of the stuff you did on the south just to make sure you get a straight line. I'll say this is... 19. I don't really like that line. Alright. I saved the line. I don't know if it's a good one or not. But on what? 19. Hmm. It was what was saved there before, so it must be from my DN. Yeah, because I think you were the only one that DN'd that. No, we both did this. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be a dick, too. Have fun with the little patch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I don't think this is... Maybe it is straight across. Yeah. You're gonna be a dick, huh? You're gonna have to go a ways that way to turn around. Well, you're pretty much gonna have to come up here all the way too, so. Nice thing is, the game kind of has sectional control built in, because it doesn't use seed yeah. over which you already planted it. So. Except when you're spraying. Yeah. This looks pretty sweet. Oh yeah. You know, these planters, you don't think they're big planters, but you're covering some serious ground. 
160 foot. I'm glad I got that alfalfa planted. Imagine if we did 36 to alfalfa too. I, I really want to pick up those fields over there next season. 35, 36, 16. We need to get, we need to get both made off so we can actually buy fields. Yeah. That's right, you stopped. <laughs> We have 2.2 million in loans to pay off, and we're pretty much not going to touch any of that. <laughs> no, not by the time we trade any equipment. After we trade any equipment, and I don't know, might have to buy some smaller bins. I don't know. We have 300 more days. Or Like 220 more days to pay off the loan, like 2.2 million. So <laughs> basically, we're scheduled to have over 2 million in revenue at this season. Like what we're planning right now is going to be like 1.1 million without great demand. So and one bean and corn. Yeah, the bean great demand's coming up in two days, so um, we'll probably pull in, you know, 500,000 from that. kind of glad you had it Milo and Sunflower because now there's more I was bored. I, I, was, I was really sick of just corn and beans, and I'm sure there's going to be some kind of issues with it because I've never done it before, and I don't know what it looks like in-game, but... I'm sure there's going to be a little bit of an adjustment of like the lines on the map. Um, the yields, the yields should be pretty close because I mean, I use the only thing I don't know is seed usage, but I'm assuming like Bulgur, Bulgor's big map is pretty close because his his usage and yields are pretty close to what I'm doing. So yeah, well at least now there's more corn header work instead of all like. All draper, yeah. Because I think that's what we burn. Watching that real go round, round, round. Like, and I'd, I'd, I'd like to do more corn, but we just can't sell can't it. You know, anything. you might know. Yeah, remember now we got bigger trailers. Yeah, we could definitely move more grain if we're both running. Um, especially if it's... Um, but... And it's not that big of a hassle to go around that bin. I opened it up so it's a little bit more friendly. Oh, you did? You know, turning around those well, bins. I'm just, I'm just surprised how those 236 foots actually pull. I know, right? Do they not pull, like, so much nicer? Oh, they pull nice in real life. You put those, you put those triple wheels in the train that you saw the picture of? Yeah. They pull, they pull great in real life. I bet. There's so much more rubber, there's so much more axle, there's so much more braking power and stabilization. Well, I mean, I think it'll be fun watching all the big old things come blowing into the field and then out the field they go if a fourth person ever gets on the run truck. I think your buddy Nick was probably going to be the next up. Oh uh, yeah, I was getting him some shit. I go, guess what? What? You're going to be a truck driver again. <laughs> I need to finish that cat truck though. There go, don't worry. We won't be like your last boss that will let you do some tractor driving. 
We'll we'll get him a forty-five foot man man Tegato. <laughs> yeah. I said it'll be just like your old job. You'll be driving truck and running field forward. My field roller was double what your guys did. I go, yeah, but we don't have a tractor big enough to pull that in. Nor do we have a use for a ninety-foot field. Roller. Yeah. <laughs> this isn't. This isn't. Um, West Rivers. This is in South Salem, South Dakota, 8X map. <laughs> well, where he worked, which is like middle of South Dakota, South South Dakota, they had a couple fields that were 400 acres, a couple half sections, and a couple full section fields. I kind of lift this draw bar up a little bit, just so it's not flush and flat, you know? you bump it up a few clicks it seems to do pretty good kind of levels out the bar there's a guy in West River that's got a 4,000 acre field what's the point? <laughs> because it's West River there's a lot of dead roads so I have dead roads you just tilt under the roads I think so I, I remember correctly my buddy said it was like six and a half miles by three miles wide how do you even manage that? How do you like sunflower? Or we, you do it in sections. Yeah. I guess I guess I guess if it's all on GPS and on your computer, it's no different than if it's multiple fields. But yeah, and most guys that farm over three thousand are gonna have GPS. And it's all all your yield maps are incorporated into your variable rate or your section control prescriptions. Yeah, they variable rate plant too. I'd say like the average field in Wisconsin is probably like 80 to 100 acres. I'd say most of them that I see are right around that. There's probably like some around 140, a couple around 2, 250. They don't get much bigger than that. And uh, most of them are irrigated, so. Yeah, we have some irrigators around here. Don't really need it. Unless you get into the really sandy soil. I don't Maybe. think I've ever seen anyone run tile, though. That's a big thing around here. But, I mean, the ground's so hilly that it doesn't really... Yeah. It's natural, Worth like... There's really no need for tile, because there really isn't much standing water, because it's so high off the water table. And then where there is drainage issues is, you know, in like a bowl shape thing. So it's not like a tile is going to help with that. Let's they must be it. giving out awards today for the NFL. For the what? NFL must be giving away the yearly rewards today. Yeah, I saw AP got the FedEx. Yeah, Panthers coach got the coach of the year. J.J. Watt got defensive player. Is that second year in a row? Third. <laughs> Quick Eric Berry name comeback player of the year after beating cancer. Todd Gurley won the rookie. Marcus Peters won defensive rookie. Can you imagine if GPS mod didn't exist? Lord help us all. I would actually have to script in these rich units to actually like plow. Yeah. And then you gotta make sure that you do it right so you don't knock the one into the other one, otherwise you're gonna plow right through where you just planted. It's actually pretty easy to script these ridge markers in. I just love how that 27, 20, or 26, 23 actually sped up the tillage. What? That was, I was not thinking we were going to get all of our cultivating done in 24 hours, and all of a sudden I look back and I go, oh crap, we still got six hours to burn. <laughs> yeah, that, it averaged, I think, over total acreage and operating time on that tractor, including road time, it was 58 acres. An hour. I'll, I'll take that. 
And you know, I mean, we had very minimal road time, so it's not like we're driving on the road 30 miles. No. So I would say it's probably pretty dang close to 60 acres an hour if you're in the field. That never stopped moving when we were on. Yeah, and, uh, that really helped out on the chisel plow too. Oh, <laughs> that cat really yanks that chisel plow. Uh, 27 and a half hours we put on that kitty rental, so. So we only went over by three and a half and we were basically done with tillage. I mean, we had it for like two days, but actual tillage time was 27 and a half hours. But yeah, because Mateus wanted to be on, he goes, go plow. I said, no, use the kitty. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think he finished field one while the kitty was just sitting. Whatever. No, I, I think I was on that night. I'm the one that actually, I think I was driving the cat. Then I started lagging, so I left. We're annihilating this field. I'm having fun planting. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine harvest with us with 16 year old heads, Mike in the cart and a buddy trying to run trucks. Well, if we have, if we get the T97, Michael, Michael, have it made really. Well, yeah. And then the good thing about Mike is he's got like what is it, hundred thousand in each truck or ninety six thousand each truck. Um, it's like eighty. I think it came out to twenty four hundred bushels with a ten inch heap over the water line. Yeah. Well. And it's not like Nick's really got to go 40 miles to drop the truck off and dump trailer, so I think we'll be a quick harvest, which is going to be the sad part, because then we'll be right back to tillage. God. <laughs> you guys aren't giving me enough time to make a 2730. <laughs> well, you'll have a bunch of spring time. The DN was pretty fun though that was different we don't usually do that so no doing what we did and like so if Ms. Tans does get on or say somebody else is on they can almost start DNing while we're three of us or four of us are combined if we ever get on. yeah if I get the field prescriptions done in time then we'd be able to be like yeah just do that do that do that but I mean, you really only do that if you own the the spreader. You don't like rent it while yeah. while harvesting, because that means the whole idea is you put down nutrients and then you plow it. If you take three days to till and then you take two days to put on your application, well, you just lost a bunch of money because you need like two days to till that stuff in if you're doing yeah. pre-plant. Um, so I think what we'll do this time is we'll probably just Wait. We'll, we'll probably just go right to tillage. And then. Well, I figured. Get done with harvest, get to the next growth stage. You get all your information done. So if, like, at night, say, me, you, Mike, and Nick are on, two of them go out and start plowing, and two of them take the DNs out and just go hog wild with the DN while the other two are tilling. I think we could get everything done in four days. Yeah. Who knows, after next season, you might have to rent two kitty or two 26-23s. Yeah, if we were to just cultivate everything and not chisel plow, because we pretty much well, I mean, if you, did massive you have, amount of chisel plowing this last season, so... You have 36, 16, 9, or 8, there's going to be a lot of ground. Usually you only chisel plow if you want to save money and get a big spike in your nutrients, so... Or have a bunch of compaction issues. Uh, you know, if you're spending all that money to get the nutrients up in a new field, you really got to chisel plow. I mean, yep. some, some of these fields, we put, you know, 40,000 worth of nutrients into them. 
you also got to remember you're picking up four huge fields that are probably going to need a spike in nutrients. Definitely. But it's weird, because these fields that we haven't plowed, they don't read any data, and then when you update after plowing, it, like, updates. And so it's kind of like a guess, because you don't really know where you're at. Yeah. Watch your spread MPK chip, chisel it, and then we'll see where we're at. <laughs> yeah. I, I definitely like uh, broadcasting lime and chisel plowing in lime and chisel plowing in MPK and the residue. Well, now that, now that we got our yields up to where they're, like, our nutrients up, yeah. maybe we won't have to spray so much. That's that's why I did it, is I went the route that we did. I, I wanted to really load it up front. So we could just kind of easily maintain stuff, maybe like broadcast a little bit of lime here and there. You know, because there's some fields where we couldn't broadcast, some fields that we were plowing, we couldn't put down lime because it would spike the pH too much. Yep. But after one or two growths, it will be slightly acidic, so it still needs an application of lime in probably like half the fields. So. But you could just broadcast and let it kind of incorporate it in by itself. You don't need to plow it in or disc it in or anything. So there'll be a little bit more DN work, I think, after we finish planting. Good thing if you ever get that uh, grow gator box done, then you can actually top dress nitrogen like we do in real life. Yep. That'd be a cool mod. A really nice, detailed, well done RG1300. 100 and. Boom. 30 foot boom or 35 they only go to 120 yeah Are you sure yeah it's it's usually 90 120 for 100 right. you well even at 120 that's that's 30 feet more than what we have now i mean 90 is really small on this patriot on some of these and the, the tank capacity is only what 800 gallon yeah, so with that 1300, you could max, you max it out to where it blew off the top or blew off the hole and go underneath. There's like 1375 or 1350 for gallons. Yeah. I mean, because a lot of the, a lot of the time with those sprayers, you're, you're running back and forth to refill, so. Yeah. And uh, we go through, you know, probably four semis worth of liquid. At least. If you're if you're spraying the herbicide, you're spraying the double lettered herbicide. Oh boy, you go through it in a hurry. Yeah, that that has a really low um, or should I say I should say a high usage per acre. And it's expensive, so. Go but the nice thing is that when you accelerate time, soil mod doesn't like count that as a day. Like if you fast forward, like five days, it still only counts it as one. So it's like kind of cheating, <laughs> but it doesn't recognize it unless you like go through a full day like at real time. I noticed that because, like, I put down double A. And I accelerated like two weeks and it was still in the field. <laughs> Usually it's only supposed to be there for like three days. And then it goes away. Yeah. So I was like, that's cool. But I mean, huh. I don't really know if there's really a huge benefit to actually like applying uh, herbicide, really. Not unless they made it so that if you do spread with that's usually the time you're going to get your most weed. I don't think it's that complicated. I He came out with that version 2. Mm -hmm. I haven't updated that yet, but I that think... you can do manual I, weed prevention. And I think there's some different changes, like how much... If you till in crops, it kind of change. I think he made some different changes and stuff. But I'd have to look at it. I was just preoccupied with other stuff because I know a lot of like a lot of guys around here don't do manual weed prevention anymore 
No, that's pretty much like an organic, organic farmer these days. So. Or like a, if you have like a little personal garden, you pull out your tiller or your little mantis. But it is cool that they're making new kind of working areas for soil. And so I imagine compaction is going to be coming around in the next couple months to differentiate between like uh, different kind of deep tillages. Which will be nice. Like that kid on your Instagram. Do you guys use controlled farming or controlled traffic farming? No. What's that? We basically, if you don't know, till you try to leave the. Oh, yeah, time. yeah. Um, but, I mean, if compaction did get in game, I think that'd be something to actually, like. Oh, yeah. And then you can like take like the 2100 and just rip your headlands and rip your traffic. Well that's where you try to get like trucks stay on the very edge of the field and the green cart tries to follow the combine track so he's not making new ones. Yeah, because what do they say? Most of your compactions in the first pass, like 70% of it? Or... Your headlands get the most because all the truck traffic in and out of the field. Yeah. You got to remember that. not more of Because me with my one is like 80 pounds. So you add on... But just think how much more dynamic it would make the game. I mean, Soil Mod is great. But just adding but, that extra little component, I mean, that completely changes our tillage practices. Makes us be a little bit more cautious during harvest. It's just, how do they do that? Like, you know how it's like multiple, he has like two layers now and they're like invisible for like soil yep. moisture. I think if it, you could like track the wheels, like with the wheel lane script, and then you like figure out the total weight of your vehicle, which is easy to do because it's right in your XML on all the components, mm -hmm. you would be able to like do like a weighted scale and like, it would like paint in this invisible layer where you've been. It would look like a wheel lane map, but instead it would be a map of compaction. Yeah. I think it's not that difficult, it wouldn't be that difficult to do, really. I feel like they pretty much have done it already with the moisture and wheel lanes. They just need to kind of combine the two together to make something and then write a, a work area of like deep tillage that erases it you know yeah and, ta -da. and then the heavier the vehicle you know it does like um, surface area of wheels against the weight of the vehicle so you get psi the more psi the faster your compaction goes up I'm betting right now I'm probably going to have 800 minutes of video upload time. 800 minutes? That 48 minute video took us, told me that it was like 200, 267 minutes to upload. Yeah, well you need, to, you need to understand that you're uploading at 60 frames per second, 1080, you know, HD, so. Oh yeah. And you got, I have a 48 minute video takes us to plant this. Well, we're getting close to the shorter shorter passes coming up here on our way back, so... Yeah, but we're still a long way from the shop. <laughs> yep. But this is a 120-acre field, and 37's like... Seven's got to be way less because we are now over a full tank already. It, it is 90 acres. 19 is 119 acres. Because I just broke under 50%. Yep, yeah, this this field is um, huge. 30 acres more than 37. 
I want to do 33 corn. <laughs> we'll get there. Mike! Mike! We'll have to section that probably. Section we, it in. We did four. what? Four sections? Yeah. That's not bad. No. We would never make it to the other side with 16 row heads before we. No, not even with a bin extension. Maybe, Mike. maybe if we like do no till and no nutrients. <laughs> I can just see us yelling at Mike. Mike, where are you with Paul? I'm not even on the other side to get to the truck. Shop. I haven't even unloaded yet. <laughs> God damn, we're gonna need another cart. <laughs> yeah, get little kitty on a 1100, big kitty or something like on a 1500. I figured. I do like the blue on blue. Blue on blue looks mighty fine. Oh, it does. I like doing these, uh, uh, importing the Giants machines into Blender and making them a little bit more complex. Yeah. Cause they're they're nice models, and you just add scripts to them and a few animations, and they're pretty nice. It's definitely beats building something from the ground up. Oh yeah. Texturing is the worst in UV mapping. Oh my god. I think it'd be fun with your new beat trailer. I think one of these nights we'd have to do beats again. Uh, maybe buy the Homer DLC and have a nice, nice uh, self-propelled for once. Maybe. Can you imagine that? One of her. If you had a self-propelled, one oxbow, and two trailers, that'd make for a fun night. Yeah. You need two trucks. <laughs> well, we could probably do, like, fuel... 15 or something to beats or 29 and make it easy. <laughs> Put a tire on the front of a truck. <laughs> push. Push. Yeah, I've, I was kind of going to bring up that idea to you. You just make like a tire on the front of that cat and just make it invisible until you hit the button. Or like a attachable, like you can buy it and it attaches. <laughs> the pusher tire. I would not let Nick drive drunk, because if he comes pushing, he might come full bore like we did on Nebraska. Well, I, I, we were pushing with a full load trailer. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Come on. That was fun. We were just like going hand with shitty mods. made those mowers to defoliate. What did we do? We rented like five little shitty tractors and put them on those little defoliators just to yeah. open up for the three sections pole type lifter. God. Just lifting beats like nobody's business. I'm coming. Holy crap, I'm coming too fast. Oh shit. Wham in the back of the truck. It's a plan, it's kind of. I'm kind of liking the plan. It's a small, detailed plan. You know, I was really. The whole. <laughs> I built this planter just for this this moment right now. Like we haven't done this yet. 
We've done it with the uh, in-game planner. Yep. I wanted to run two DB24 rows, and now it's happened. And I, I, goal has been made. <laughs> I and I built this planner how long ago? <laughs> Just finally getting have. around to running dual planters in multiplayer. Could you imagine like a photo of if we did it right, have like the cultivator running in front of like 26, 23 going in front of the planter on big kitty, and then two of us with 24 row planters and mini kitty going behind it. Or if we had like a big ass John Deere pulling it, 9570RT, <laughs> and then uh, like some 8370RTs, road track you, on the planners. Are you starting to update the model that Sirius did or what? Uh, no, that's the one I've been kind of like farting around with. Um, I, I have my finished um, 8R. 8R. Um, with basic, basic scripts, but I'm kind of not really focusing on deer right now, except for maybe just a 2730 and then redoing my 2720, but I'm kind of over deer at the moment and trying to focus on stuff that other people don't have. Like I like blue and yellow. What? The blue, yellow, or kind of nice in game. I think that versatile 310 that you were doing, I think that match Raphael Delta track if you ever got that done. Aren't, are the interiors the same, or are they different? Uh, they might be a little different. I know the interior don't change much from an 8R to a 9R. Because, I mean, if he does a really great job on the interior, I would probably, like, finish up that tractor, because... Yeah, interior, it, interior is 60, 70 percent of the whole model work. So, I mean, it don't change much in tractors. Fuel from tractor to combine to sprayer, yeah, it's gonna change a lot. Yeah. But like 9R and 8R, they don't change much. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of redoing some of my older models just trying to up the quality a little bit new textures new more detail in the model updating the scripting I wish Giants would really come out with a fix to the bail leg and use their in-game picker upper do what? like Giants when you use that 16 that it an auto stack how bad it legs the game. Oh, when you unload? Yeah. I'm thinking yeah. I might switch to Raphael. Who made, was Raphael or Julian made that small one? Julian, right? Well, that was converted from 13, but... Oh. It's, uh, it's nice, but it has, like, a really weird turning situation. I mean, they cruise on the work. Pretty much just need to like keep turning to one side. I guess if I ever use a cruiser again to pick them up, I'd probably pick up eight of them at a time and go dump the eight and come back, grab more, eat more instead of grabbing sixteen at a time. It you can stack sixteen as long as you're probably like a good distance away when you unload the other. Like if you're like a tractor width in between. I think that, like, what I did with the bales when I did 20, I didn't get any leg from that. But it's when you drive into it, yeah, it's definitely, I think the bale stacker stacks it, like, the collisions into one another, so it's... Oh, yeah, because, I mean, if you put three full loads right next to each other, go try and grab the telehandler in there, it's also, like, games like, screw you, no, I'm not going to happen. Yeah, you put, you put your fork in it, it's like, la, 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 like... Trets just spazzes the fuck out. Then you get Mike who spazzes out when he tries to do it, he goes and blows through the stack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where that little red one, it only stacks them what? Six high? I think six or five high, or four high, yeah. It's like 12 total. 
question is, are we even going to make it to the other side of the field and throw a full towel? Yeah, I think we will. We're at 37%. I mean, this field's only 30 acres more, which is 30%. We're only covering 30% more ground. Yeah. And we were at 50-50, so I bet we'll be down around 15% trying to get back to the other side. Yeah. This is a nice field to plant, nice field just for about everything. Easy to broadcast, easy to spray, easy to plant, easy to harvest. Yeah, when I tilled it, I went a long row. Yeah. You always do that, though. It just, it's easier. Not a lot, a lot less turning, more rounds, longer rounds. So you get to the west side, then there's some short rounds. Yeah, I like doing it like this, because it's all pretty much very, kind of like, the same. Yep same length per pass over the whole field. I think this is how most people would do it. Because the it's not straight, that road's not straight. That headland isn't it's like kind of curvy, it goes in and out, so it's not I can't wait till harvest. <laughs> As we just started planting. <laughs> yeah, but just think of the mash up video that we can actually make, like, realistic 5 minute or 12 minute YouTube videos, like views from the combine, views from the cards. Yeah, gonna have to learn how to edit videos. I meant 55 minutes on the video already, and we're not even done playing this video. <laughs> I love that real daylight mod with the remove haze. It just makes everything pop now. And the nights are finally darker like they need to be in real life. I kind of brightened it up a little bit because it was too dark. Mm -hmm. I bumped it up just um, a few points on the parabola, parabolic uh, curve. Yeah. It, it runs in like the, the way it's scripted. The, it's scripted as like a parabola, so if you just kind of reduce it, the slope, it's not as pitch black. Oh, it was pitch black. <laughs> yeah, now now it's it's still dark, but you can actually still see in front of your face. <laughs> Before it was like you were in the middle of a barn in the middle of the night. The, you you there were, you couldn't see anything. Yeah, it was too too dark. Even if you had a full moon, you still couldn't see anything. <laughs> Are you there? Marco, Polo. Need to have a black guy open his eyes and smile. <laughs> it was funny, we, uh, in high school, we only had like two black people in our whole high school. And one of them, um, he was like the whitest person you'd ever meet. Jordan Estes? Anyways, we were out in the middle of the night. Like, we'd always like chalk people's cars and stuff like that, like our friends. Or like put like uh, marshmallow puff cream on the windows. <laughs> stuff like that. We and did it, that in college with window markers. We did like 60 cars in the school parking lot one night. Yeah, that's, that's what we do. Cause like in Northwest Wisconsin, there's nothing to do. At, summer nights, you know, you're bored as hell, there's nothing going on, you got all the time in the world. So all, we just, that, all that got ruined when my buddy got a ticket for having a big window chalk penis in the back of the <laughs> window. 
Yeah, so one night it was like super dark out and we're all in like black everything and we can't see any, like we don't know where each other are and we're like like hiding out like undercover and then all of a sudden I look over and Esther's, I see Esther's because his eyes are open and he's smiling. <laughs> Like, I remember watching the Simpsons episode of, like, it's pitch black and you just see the smiling eyes. It's, like, so stereotypical and I just, like, lost it. I'm like, I can't believe that's, like, the reflection from his eyes and his teeth from the moon. <laughs> uh, I'll never forget that. Chevy I showed you. Sure. It's, I think it's worth it. I wouldn't be a like Put like a fuel a uh, fuel trigger on the back of it. With a little make a little fuel tank. Yeah. Either that or retexture. Yeah, I've never used that. I, I was mean, thinking of a, lot, a lot of people have those around here. A lot of guys are starting to buy those. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense. Since you and uh, Donald got called out that night. What? That night, you and Donald got a video made about you. Oh, I did? Yeah. <laughs> you remember it. I've had, I've had so many people make videos of me. <laughs> it's the one that always has been trying to get at you for the last couple of years. Or the last couple of months. Fat Kevin? Yeah, he made one about Donald too. <laughs> Why? He made one, I don't know. Then he made one about how he has to babysit a bunch of FS kids. Oh, Jesus. Shepard. They made one. That guy's such a fat idiot. <laughs> yeah, the moment a felon has to babysit me, <laughs> a DMD. I left a lot of those pages already because like, I don't want to see it anymore. Yeah, I block. I just block people. Like I just literally cannot handle when they go full retard. Like, just got <laughs> too much. It's. Dude, like, <laughs> people are like, he's a fraud, he buys all of his models. It's like, yeah, you go find me the kitty in a model. Please show me, phone. please show me where I can buy these mods, because I would love to buy them, because it would save me a lot of time from building them. <laughs> please show me where I could download these and purchase these. It's not a bad thing to buy models. I don't know why people are so pissed at you for buying models for semi. <laughs> Everybody buys models and pictures. It's the first model I ever bought because I'm not putting 250 hours into building a truck. I'm not that passionate about trucks. I just want a nice truck. <laughs> I want a heavy haul truck. I want a truck that nobody got. Ooh, can truck. I'll take it. <laughs> yep. And then guess what? They had to go copy Joe. I swear to God. I feel like a shepherd and retarded flock of sheep just keep following me and never leave me alone. Make kitty, people are, someone else makes kitty. I make planters, people try to make planters. I make 2623, people make 2623. It's like, it just never ends. And it's always after I make it. It's never before. Well, that, that Benny kid was, that Benny kid had made that post on AEM about making one a long time ago. Just never knew how to do it. Yeah. But it's funny with that cat truck. I've never seen so much butt hurt off of one single picture. Hey. Yeah, that picture is bloated worse than your kitty did when you started making it. Yeah, that's. It's like it's a truck. Well, <laughs> you said he built it. No, he never said he built it. Where, where did I say I ever built it? 
You I said didn't. I built it. Well, I didn't. It doesn't help that Matt Carnes went out on Facebook and goes, he built, he built all his mods. I go, okay, the semi and the pickup weren't built, but the pickup was bought. The semi was bought. Okay, there's two models that were bought. <laughs> People are retarded. It's that gooseneck. Was that the built model or was that bought off turbo school? What? The gooseneck, the fifth wheel. That was built by Kramer J in 13. Because I think that jet boat was off of Turbo Squid. Abel's? It wasn't Abel's. Oh, it wasn't Abel's, but somebody else textured it. Yeah, he's got a big thing in the credits for it. I didn't really look at it. No, 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 no. That was built by the that the person that oh. built it put it on Turbo Squid, but okay. it was never purchased. Same with um, he put a lot of his other trailers, like his flatbeds and stuff like that, on there. But they they were never on Turbo Squid. They were in farm sim, converted yeah, from truck they sim on before they were ever on Turbo Squid. Yeah. So they sent them to me before they even uploaded to Turbo School. Yeah. Well, the corn up here was out in 13, and then I happened to notice there was a quad axe and spread axe on Turbo School. The, the van trailer? Yeah. I mean, it's all on. You can buy the models now, but they were never originally on there before they were in game. No. Because that's. Uh, that's uh, that Mark and the Corby, they, uh, they, and the Matt Kelly, and all them guys, the trucks. And I got it. Did one, like, the, the one that Corby had, that triple axle low boy, that thing's pretty nice. Yeah, I have it ready to, uh, in game, but the only thing is it doesn't have the expanding sides like the easy load does. So you'd have to go add those. So, well, it's not built. It's not, oh. it's, it's not built for those, you know? Yeah. It's well, just built yeah. to get longer. Like, you can put, like, a, a tractor and a grain cart on it, probably. You know, and haul that all at the same time. But the easy load is nice because you can transport, you know, your big combines and stuff on that. I guess if you just really wanted to make uh, that easy load easier, just make it so you got that flip axle on the back so it flips down for a third axle. Yeah. I like my easy easy to load. It works good. Oh yeah. I was actually gonna buy it and then surprise you guys with it. <laughs> this transport stuff, but maybe when we buy a second farm like that big grain farm or something. Are you going the north grain farm or the east grain farm when we do this? I'd like to go with the north. Cause we we haven't been over there and we got a lot of farm a lot of land over there and when you buy the farm it comes with the bin where this bee farm down at the southeast the farm and the bin are separate are all the buildings at the farm, farm with it or no um i have all the farms under one big trigger so you have to buy it and it, it includes all the buildings and stuff like that the uh the dairy farm across the road here you can buy that farm it's all blocked off and then the shed you can buy and use that shed in the, the green bin without buying the dairy farm, so. Hmm. I gotta admit, that north farm, but the best thing about that north farm is the big cement wash pad out there. Yeah, it looks super sharp now that I put in that road and I made the terrain nice. It looks nice and clean over there. I know you didn't want me to put a, a paved dirt road, but it's gonna make driving back there so much easier. Uh, I actually that paved dirt road is actually starting to catch on to me. I mean, it, I like the paved dirt road more than the paved dirt road. Yeah. I put it by our south farm, too, just because I was kind of sick of looking at all the asphalt. <laughs> and it, that, as much as people want to complain, that paved dirt texture road yeah. drives way nicer than the 
grab them next year. Yeah, that's... I mean... You still get the a nice look of a gravel, but you get the nice driving yeah, physics. There's quite a few gravel roads I can go 60 mile an hour down and not have to worry about all the Exactly. Exactly. The only time you have a really shitty gravel road is if it's lo like a low maintenance logging road or something. Where are you putting in 11 north? Folding up DB planter. Because 11 would be an easy one to do. One of us does the north side and one of us starts on the south side. That used, a lot, that used a lot of seed, holy crap. Um, 19 was specced at 19,216 liters of seed. <laughs> That's about right. So, which comes yeah. out to $4,800. <laughs> yeah, but if you look at it, you've got 2,500 left. I've got a shade under 2300 so there's about 5,000. We were about right on the money. Yep. We put in about 11,000 of nitrogen, 5,000 of PK, 7,600 of NPK. The lease on this field is about 30,000 every 20 days. Um, yeah, oh, what is... You want to know what 11 north and south are both beans so 